ABP boys actually are officially back together. Um, and I am actually super happy. Like I said, I listen to them all the time. And I realized a couple of things. So Park says something very, very at the very beginning of uh, he said it at the very end, excuse me. So what they did was everybody sat around. Rory got to say his piece or what he felt was the issue. Maul got to go second. Um, they asked Joe to go. Joe said, no, I want to hear Parks. And everybody told the story from their point of view. And like I said, I'm only like an hour and 20 minutes in. So um, I'm not even done. They're not even done with this topic. And Park said there, there turned out to be an argument about business. And, um, you know, it seemed like what started off as, hey, the podcast, it was on, it was a business. It turned into, hey, we have a podcast. Something is not right. The energy is off. Everybody said they was burnt out. Um, it's just getting tough. And, you know, as a listener, it's tough for us to come up in here with, what, the last two weeks? Not last week, but the two weeks before that, it was tough because we was coming in here like, yo, what the hell are we going to talk about? And because we missed so much, and yeah. you don't want to go back to talk about some shit that happened three weeks ago. Yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? But even though we missed it, but if you miss it and if it's not popping by the next Wednesday or Thursday when we talking, we don't want to talk about it no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so it's tough. But them, they're doing two podcasts a week and they but all of them have jobs or careers that they're doing. So to take out time to say, yo, we're going to go by and we're going to do this pod. Uh, they said it was getting burnt out and business came into play and they felt disrespected. And it got me thinking about when do when when is uh it got me thinking about f mixing friends in business. Oh God, here we go. And when is that tough? Um, I've hired friends. If we've been real, I've hired Jamar. That's my guy. That's my guy. For those that I know, my best man, my best man, my best friend. Um, his name is Jamar. He definitely listening. He's probably right now like, oh shit. <laughs> he, don't, he don't know what you about to say. He don't. But I've hired Jamar. Mm -hmm. Um. We've had good days. We've had horrible days. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it got to a point where I told Jamar, I was like, I don't think we should just work together like that. Like, I don't know if I can hire you. And I realized that I had to be a micromanager and I didn't want to be. Or I, I was a micromanager. I ain't going to say I had to be. Um, I did feel like I needed to be and I turned it to one. Now, I don't know Jamar's side of the point of view. And if he, you know, wants to go on. He wants to call TMZ and tell his side. Then I get it, brother. Not TMZ. I get it, brother. So, but <laughs> but on the real though, I was like, I got that. I was just like, all right, cool bet, bro. Like, you know, business for us did not work. Um, and so it got me thinking about, and then it honestly, to be transparent, it got me thinking about us. Now we don't have no huge business. <laughs> Key looking oh, scared. Oh shit! I don't know what that was. Y'all been trying to kick me out for a minute. I'm just gonna tell y'all. If you get somebody else up in here, go ahead, stop watching, cause we ain't got. Wow, time. I was looking at the time because I need to freeze that time and the timestamp and make that your thumbnail. Well, am I going like this? Yeah, but um, <laughs> no, it it just got me thinking. It was like it helped me to understand. Listen, that podcast helped me to understand it. Whenever he does get to that point, because we're not there yet, right? There's no contracts involved. It ain't like a lot of money is exchanging hands here. What well, you know, we do have a bunch of people working in the background that we got to work on. But it got me thinking. It was like when that time does come, I want us to be clear on what's the business side, what's the friend side, because in all accounts of listening to these guys, it sounded like, hey, the lines got blurry, but we were still communicating. And but we was not health. It was not a healthy line of communication, which is why the lines got blurry. Um, another thing, and we'll move off of this because I don't want nobody over here thinking. Well, before crazy. you go to that, when it comes to yourself and, and me, myself and you, whatever, um, mm -hmm. I think the communication is going to be. I don't think we'll run into a, a problem like this. Let's hope not. And I'm speaking it because I previously had a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. about some things regarding the pod mm -hmm. and like how I feel like if we are doing this together, this what needs to happen. This is if I'm going to be included in this, like let's make sure that we are doing things as a team. Mm -hmm. So I think we are at a point where um, you better not change them cameras. Why? Cause they, it's not time. Oh, I don't know. What's the time? I can see it. You just, you just sit back and relax father of the year. So 
Um, <laughs> so um, I feel like we, when it comes to business, mm-hmm. um, I think we'll both be able to sit down and have a healthy conversation about what it is that we're both looking forward to, whatever comes out of this. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything. Only time me and Gavin get petty about something, if it's like other shit, like when it comes to business though, I feel like nobody's playing about their money. Like, (laughs) especially when you get into a point where you, it gets to a point where you about to make some money, like for real, for real. It's like, okay, we not, this is serious. So I don't think for us, I personally don't feel like that would happen, but I mean, you never know. Yeah. And I guess with them, like, I got to hear and say, as soon as they broke up, I, t- I mean, not broke up, but when they took a time <laughs> they apart, <broke> up. <laughs> I said, men argue over pride. I said, money and women. And, well, I said, ego. Um, and I think you said pride, excuse me. I said, money, women, power, and you said pride. And I told you, I don't think it's women. I said, money. Right. I said, they make too much money, so it can't really be that. And you, I said, it got to be power or pride. And I think we found out, well, I found out listening. It was both of those. Yeah. And it was their business. And you know what? Um, them saying they needed a break, they needed time off and things of that nature. And then Joe was saying like, yo, the energy is just fucked up and saying that. And then Maul said something that was interesting. He said that he was offended. Um, he said he was offended when he was replaced. And I, w- I want to say, I want to say for me, so I listened to the podcast when they had Ice and Ish on there. And the first episode I did not listen to. No, the first episode I listened to half. I was like, all right, I don't know who these new niggas is. <laughs> One of them niggas is old as shit. The second episode I did not listen to because I'm like, I don't want these old ass niggas talking. Like, who is these niggas? I told you to tell Joe to put us out there. He did not. And then the third one, I was like, all right, I'm going to listen to these dudes because by this time I knew something was wrong, right? Yeah. And what I knew more about, oh, this is serious. This might be the new norm. And I listened to it and I actually started liking it. A lot. Both of them are funny. Both of them played a huge part. Both of them had interesting things to say. And I was actually a fan of the new one, not more than the old one, of course. But it was it was something that I could see myself listening to just as easy as I wasn't, you know, listening to. The Roy point is Ma- they could still go on without them. And I said that. I said that before yeah. when I did my Google thing yeah. about this whole show. And for Maul to say he was upset, you know, I was thinking about it. I'm like, why? Like, I get and I get that I'm not a part of that podcast. I get I don't know nobody a part of that podcast. I get that it's things that us listeners would never know. Um, however, sometimes, and I ask, I asked my wife this. Me and her listen to the podcast. Um I asked my wife this. I said, when does your purpose supersedes your friends, your family, and even your significant other? And I thought about that. And she kind of looked at me and I was like, yo, and I'm not saying this is right. Because me and her had that conversation. I told her before I got married, I said, look, I have a purpose in this life. I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I'm pretty sure I found it out. And I won't let nobody, even you, stop me from uh, fulfilling that purpose. And I felt like it was something hard to hear. Um, but she looked at me. And she said, I got you. I'm going to help you get there. And I said, that's what I needed to hear. You know what I'm saying? But it made me think about what Maul, he's upset that, yo, this podcast is bigger than you. It's bigger than y'all friendship. It's bigger than, you know, at least what I think was Joe was trying to get at. It's like, yo, this shit is bigger than, you know, people get paid. People pay their rent with this. People pay their bills. People, you know, do certain things. You know, they have tens of people that work there. And because we're having a tiff. You know, but I do think we have to go back to and I encourage everybody who's listening right now to think about, you know, when does your purpose supersede those people and how will you react? Like how how are you going to act when you have to explain to your friends, when you got to explain to, you know, your wife, your husband, your, you know, your mom, your dad, like, yo, my purpose is bigger than what than the issues we're having right now. Well, I think if you have those the right people around, even your family. Mm-hmm. I think they should understand that. Yeah, but sometimes people don't get your vision. Because they should have the same mindset as you. Maybe not your purpose, but their own. Yeah. So it's like, you got a purpose too. And I hope that whatever it is that God, because I, I believe in God, um, has ordained for you to do to serve other people, you can't fill up 
any type of way or let something minor get in between you and a friend or you and a family or you and your wife, a husband or girlfriend, boyfriend, it doesn't matter. Like true. if you have the same mindset, that means the people around you have similar mindsets. There shouldn't be an issue when it comes to your purpose. Absolutely. That's just Keith's personal opinion. <clears throat> I get it. And I guess for me, I look at, hold on. I guess I look at it and I go, sometimes people can't see the vision. Oh, that's true too. Sometimes people don't understand what you're doing, what you're trying to go through, um, where you're trying to take shit. And so they just don't get it. And you know, sometimes I understand when my friends, um, I understand when my friends need space because they're trying to do something and they're trying to, they're trying to create something that I just don't get or I, I'm not privy to know. I understand when people go silent so they can achieve some stuff. Yeah. You don't want me knowing. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And I try to understand that. I ask, you know, sometimes I have to look back when I see somebody putting distance between me and them. I'm like, all right, maybe it's for a purpose. I understand it later. If I never figure it out, then we just grew apart. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? But that comes with maturity because I remember not being that way. So interesting there. Um, uh, all right, we got some topics we about to run through. I gotta tell you something, but I'll tell you when we go get something to eat. Okay, great. <laughs> um, <laughs> for those who not know, um, let me go to this topic. IG model launches a go fund me to help me repay this loan. She said the feds is after me. Uh, quickly, a popular Instagram model set up a GoFundMe to help her pay back her PPP loan. You motherfuckers don't. They they haven't learned yet. So what did she what did they do with the money? What did she do with her money? Yeah. I don't know. Do what all these bras do. Ch trick off, go to Tulum, um, go get Chanel probably, some red bottoms, Chris Le Boutons. I don't know. Buy some bundles. They ain't give me no loan. Cause you didn't you didn't when did you start your business? After twenty twenty. Yeah, you ain't getting no money. I know. Um let me tell y'all something. I mean, <laughs> Key, how long we been saying this? How long we been telling them they going to jail? You're going to jail now. You remember that bus driver and he hit that girl? <laughs> That's so messed up, but he, yeah, he hit Anyway, him. sorry. Um, how long we been telling them they going to jail? <laughs> ever since they started giving out them loans? Bruh, I don't know what y'all don't get about this. What yeah. is her business? Who knows? Um, They going to jail, man. I don't know how else to say it. Y'all going to jail. Um, I, I, I don't understand why y'all was commenting on her GoFundMe like, yo, this for commissary. Yo, stupid. Here's five dollars. Yo, like, what are y'all doing? Y'all helping her get to what she needs to because this is what's going to happen. Criminal charges against 209 individuals. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they got so many people who are going to jail. Um, do you know anybody that committed PPP loan fraud? We should probably not ask that. So we don't I don't know. Questions. Nobody even got a loan. Personally, I, I don't one. know. Gavin, you better not be going to jail. Oh, I'm not. The pod, the pod must continue. You better no. be going to jail, bro. I actually just got my first one forgave, forgiven. So for me, I was smart. Forgiven. Forgiven. <laughs> I was smart. I got me a PPP loan. Um, I got it through my bank so they could see where the money was going. Right. Because you can go get a PPP loan from any, you know, you know, when you get trash mail from like these places, like, oh, get you a loan now of up to 50 grand. Like, and it'd be like blue something, blue host, the blue. Or something. they send you the check already. That's a setup. That's the BS, right? And so those places are the ones passing out extra PPP loans because it's nothing but a bank that can front the money. And then, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So these people are getting PPP loans. And me, I got it through my bank. I told the truth on how much money I was making, how much I was spending on rent, how much I was spending on advertising, all this, this, and that. And I did not get the full 20. Let me put it like that. I got a fraction of the 20. But you got 19. Oh, nine. I wish. I would have been in Louis Vuitton. I would have been in Lu uh, Louisville Vuitton. Uh, <laughs> Louisville Vuitton. I would have been in Kristen Gucci. Or that little Chanel Dior Dior. I had Dior all Dior. Look, but it didn't work. It didn't work that way for me. And I took my money. And when they said, hey, do you want to forgive it? I said, yes. They was able to go back through my bank and see exactly when I was paying people, how I was paying people, where the money was going. Facts. They forgave it. I'm so happy. Um, but some of these people are really going out. And I hope, y I don't think y'all understand it. Y'all got haters in y'all crew that is snitching on y'all. But yeah, I know some people that, uh, I, let me put like this. I don't know anybody personally, but I was contacted by somebody who basically told me they can commit fraud and get me a lot of money on my, um, on my joint. Give me a PPP 